uh, with uh, a total of 31 mass bays being a complete deploy. Once we get the, the uh, solar arrays to one bay out, then we hand over to the crew inside the station and they do deploy from one mass bay out to 100% uh, deploy. And we certainly hope it goes this smoothly during the real mission. So that's, that's the 2B array, and then uh, the 4B array will be deployed in a very similar fashion. There was also a question this morning about robotic arm access and EVA crew access to the solar arrays in order to help with any troubleshooting. And that's, uh, that's one significant difference between what we're trying to do here and what you saw in the 12A1 and 13A missions, in that with, with P6 on Z1, we were able to put an EVA crew member on the station robotic arm and essentially maneuver him to any place on the array where we thought we had a problem. Basically, uh, they would identify an area of interest or perhaps a grommet sn snag or any other problem that they might have seen, and then we can maneuver them to the area of interest so that they could do their work. Um, you could see on that video that